If you got told you would die at 50 to what would you do? I'd do nothing differently. I might hurt the messenger for ruining the surprise though. X to OB. If you need to know the day and the hour to feel like you're on borrowed time, you haven't been paying attention to reality very much you can go at literally any second. And if you aren't living like it you're wasting the time. The urgency should exist either way. You get one chance and there's a time limit. Make the most of it. That doesn't mean you should spend every moment jumping out of planes and shit. But you should at least be doing with life what you want to. I have some really serious heart issues and have been living with the assumption that I'd not see my 60s for basically forever. I just try to not make my life about work. Focus on spending time with my family. I take a lot of photos and write a lot of letters. Try to keep my thoughts out there and document my life as much as I can. I try to do something every day. Things like read a few chapters in a book. Practice an instrument. Watch a movie with my wife. In short, I just try to make my days meaningful and not focused on stupid things like money and my career. I'm terminal, and 45 was told my chances of even seeing past 50 would be a miracle. What have I done? I found that. Those who are always close to you no matter what. Even not families who you want to spend time with. In my short years of life I have found the true treasure in the people you have met, friended, non-friended. Those special moments is what it is about. On a tombstone it has the date you are born, then the date you pass. It's the dash in the middle that counts. So do what you always wanted to do. Only a short time to do so. Hack, even though the laptop will not play CBS TV shows now either shuts off the show many times. And the help center does not have tire patch kits, duct tape, or can open as basics homeless need often. I would hike the PCT. Travel to as many countries as I possibly can. Live in Mexico for half a year. Laugh at the trivial family drama and my dad's infuriating stubbornness instead of absorbing the negative energy. Read all the books that I have bought but never read. Have a few kids and tell them don't worry so much in life like I did. You're gonna die anyway. While this life sounds great. Thanks up shortening your life always puts things into perspective. Serious my former wife died at age 47 of cancer. This ISNT a crazy hypothetical for me. I would have just three years. I would probably spend my time and money trying to reconcile with people in my past that I have. Painful unresolved history with. Once I accomplish that, I would likely embrace a lifestyle on unapologetic gluttony and debauchery and kinda try to go out. With a bang spending my last dime on the last day. Cow on with my day. I don't know you I wouldn't think you had some power to know that. I'm not susceptible to those things. And then as the years go by, every birthday I'd remember that strange interaction I had where some stranger told me I'd die at 52, and on my 51st birthday the anxiety would set in. I'd convince myself that nothing was going to happen, but it would keep me awake at night as the days tick closer. I mean, I'd be kinda bummed because I wanted to make it long enough to watch my kids hit adulthood my youngest is seven and I also live in chronic pain, and would be fine with only 10 more years of it. I'd probably keep working on building up a good nest egg so I can leave my kids with money. I don't really care about traveling and spending anything, but I don't want them to struggle as much as I did. Gives me 12 more years. Sucks because that is young overall, but I still have time. I've been working towards early retirement since I was 22. The plan was always to retire between 45-50. I'd go ahead and retire now at 40 and enjoy the time I have left with my wife and family. I'd still make sure there was plenty left for my wife to live a long life on. That wouldn't be a problem. Demand my knees get replaced so I can walk without as much pain. I need to have both done. But because even fake knees wear out eventually, the insurance doesn't want to do it until I'm at least 50. That's 11 years of just being in pain and taking pills getting steroid shots to limp by. If I'm dying at 52, these fuckers are getting replaced so I can endure what's left of my life. Well, that would suck since I turned 53 in July. I would go to Italy, a near lifelong dream play the last three Yakuza games, and be sure to spend time with my family and friends telling them how much I love them. I'd also do some Swedish death cleaning so my partner wouldn't have to deal with it. My mum died when she was only 51. I don't take time for granted anymore.
I totally got told this. I met a woman and she was completely into me. After our third date she worked at my palm and realized something horrible. She said I'm sorry I can't do this. Your palm says you're going to die at 53. And I was like what well, I don't think. So what do you mean? She just walked away never spoke to me again and never replied to any mails. That gives me about six months to live. And I'd really change anything. Honestly, I'm reasonably content with my life and didn't expect to make it to 60 anyway mom's side of the family is rife with cancer. Dad's with heart and lung problems. I guess I would spend that nest egg I was saving to maybe one day buy a house on travel and such. Instead, work real hard, leave money behind, go to a therapist, add news so chances are that is kinda where my life expectancy is heading. I personally like the feeling of productivity. Recently I've been working on my mental health and now I'm happy and productive. Kinda see if I can keep up the habits until I'm 50ish and kick the bucket. I'm 40 now. I would go get my PhD, which I want to get so badly, but it's just way too expensive and I would be paying off the loans for the rest of my life. But it would probably take six years and then I bet I could defer for a few years and then just not pay the loans because who cares about my credit if I'm gonna die. I would question the person who told me that. How do they know? What gives them that conclusion? Are you futuristic psychic cause if you are then you are nothing but a fraud? Tell them to watch James Randy the Amazing Randy. Overall would do nothing except question that other person on why she feels that way. For myself. I'd like that. I have several conditions that have severely impacted my quality of life. And one of them is progressive. Sometimes I'm surprised I'm still here. I'd make the best of the years I have left, with the peace of knowing that the suffering aspect won't go on for decades. Go absolutely nuts working to acquire as much money as I could until I was 50. Then I would spend the next year going buck wild doing anything and everything I want. Then from 51 to death, I will sit back thinking about how great last year was and how I could never top it. Then die happy. I wouldn't do anything. Don't want anyone to worry or bother going out of their way for me also. Don't want my family to ruin their lives by putting too much out financially. Also increase my life insurance and max that out. So I can leave some fun money for my family. I am 30. Honestly, I'd be completely okay with it. I would probably just go live my life the way I now. And then at 51 do whatever the fuck I want. For the last year of my life, I would definitely try heroin. That's for sure. I would want to see what it's like. Get a high paying job in the US for the next six years then quit and spend about 10 years traveling. Or hiking with my husband around various countries on a budget. Back home to family and friends for the last two. Sprinkle me in the mountains when I'm done. Stop starving myself. So I can fit into this whole insane fashionista aesthetic I'm not overweight. By any means but the skinnier the better. I'd eat cake every day. I'd still work out. But I wouldn't deny myself all the chocolatey pleasures in life. I'm turning 50 next day. Thank. Because I don't want to traumatize anyone. But getting my hands on a good bit of money to live out the last couple years as one long globe. Trutting party would certainly be the order of the day. That would give me 11 years left. That means I'd probably barely outlive my dogs, especially my younger one. I wish I could say I would start living life to the fullest or whatever, but the truth is I will probably never be able to retire. That's less than 11 years from where I sit. Honestly, I'd be happy. I don't even know if I'll make it that long. We're all going eventually. Then again, I have a friend who hasn't eaten a vegetable since 1978, and he's turning 55 this year. I'm in my 40s. I won't go into details here. And I'm aware I won't make it to 50-55 from what the doctor estimates. So yeah, this post hits home. I tell my wife and daughter I love them every day. And I spend as much time with them as I can. That would mean I have seven years left. I try to do everything I could to instill all the morals and goodness I could into my kids and use their school hours to make sure that I leave them in as good a financial position as possible. Sex. Lots of sex, and I'd open my own business and be a shameless promoter. I wouldn't sell sex though. I just would have sex with my wife. I would do more with my daughter. Now that she's moved out I've started missing her.
Buy a Porsche 911 twin and drive it cross country first through the south to see my folks and then through the north of the US. After that, I'd spend my last year in Japan in Kyoto for the blooming of the cherry blossoms. Buy the most expensive house I could afford and furnish it beautifully. Travel to all of the countries I want to go to. Basically not give a crap about debt or repaying anything since I'd only have 11 years. Part of me would be relieved. Part of me would panic. I'd start making lists of things to give away to my friends. Try to right any wrongs. And then when I'm 51 I'd walk into the woods and never come back. I'd try to become famous and predict I'd die at 52. And I would let them imprison me and try to keep me alive and I'd make a ton of bets I'd still die. Then I'd send all the money to my remaining family. Cuss out every co-worker I don't like right this moment. Go home. Rub one out. Take a nap and then decide how I want to live the next 13 years. There will be a lot of gaming and visiting friends' family. I would try and spend as much quality time with my child. I'd travel as much as much as I could and I'd go watch my favorite sports teams play in person at least one more time they're out of state. In 60 base 10, I do wonder what base they were counting in. Base 11. Still doesn't work. Base 12. I got two years left. The higher the base, the better off I'll feel. I assume base 16 gives me 92. It'll take it. I just some financial planning choices. I've only got about eight years left. Also, gonna take out the seven-figure life policy about three, four years from now, so I can ensure my family is covered when I go.